In my personal opinion, I think one huge key is storytelling. How to captivate, find people through narratives that they find entertaining, they find worth spending some time with. It doesn't need to be that it's fun or pleasant. Maybe it's difficult and uh, paradigm shifting, but some kind of nugget to crack their mind open and see things differently after you've engaged with that particular story. I find that that's really key to science engagement today. Yeah. Well, to be honest, I didn't come up with my idea. I was invited in to be a co-host of a podcast that the BBC runs called Tomorrow's World. And this came off the back of a 40 year long or nearly that long television show that the BBC had about futuristic technologies. And so because I'm a science storyteller, they brought me in to help tell stories about what these possible futures might be. Well, I was really surprised to learn that when you scrutinize possible futures that a lot of different tech entrepreneurs are trying to create and scientific advancements are pushing us towards, there are so many tricky ethical, political, social questions that we of course need to be asking alongside those advancements, but there are tons of people working tirelessly already before those futures are here to protect our human rights and make sure that things don't go awry for future generations. I would say humanity, so humanizing science, bringing it down to the individual, the emotional level or the philosophical connection with how a person behind the theory or the technology is actually working. Um, I would also say interdisciplinarity, so interdisciplinary with arts, with music, with some kind of other discipline that isn't necessarily just the science on its own. I find that that really allows it to get into different spaces. And thirdly, um, conversations, yeah getting into ways that it doesn't feel like a, an expert is now delivering information, but you can meet people in a, in a much more relaxed atmosphere and have that come through in a kind of a reverent way.